Praise the Lord. Please, somebody, uh, can you read for me if you are a good reader? Isaiah 37, verse 31 only. And Matthew 21, 19. He said, The remnant who escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward. Matthew 21, 19. See a fig tree by the road, and he came to it and found nothing on it but leaves. And he said to it, Let no fruit grow on you ever again. Immediately the fig tree withered away. And preaching a message says, Pay attention to the root, not the fruit. Pay attention to the root over the fruit. Praise the Lord, somebody. You see what he says now? The root, the root was mentioned before the fruit. The reason of the root come before the fruit is because without root, there's no fruit. It, is the, it means the root of every foundation is important. Everywhere you're coming from, who great grandfather, father, father, father to where you are, great grandmother to where you are, is very important than you. Root is the underground part of the plant that absorb water and nutrition. Root is underground part of the plant that cannot be seen. You don't see root, but you see fruit. You cannot see the root because root is underground. Yes? What is happening from the root is nobody sees it. Nobody sees it. It's just there. Everybody sees the fruit, which is coming from the ground. Most of the time, we are more attracted by the fruit than the root. The root never matters to people. And all that matters to us is the fruit. The root does not attract, but fruit attracts both man and animals. And what am I talking now? We are talking about the roots. Anytime you see somebody or you meet somebody, you're supposed to ask, what is your root? Who, who began you? According to the Bible. Who is your father? Who is your grandfather? Who is your grandmother? You know, sometimes we come up in life, we change name. But there's something we don't change. We don't change blood. And that's what they call the bloodline. You can change the name, you can change the location. And what matters in the family, in the foundation, is that as far as the blood is already on you, go anywhere you want to go, the blood speaks. The character of a man, the lifestyle of a man, is connected through the blood. Without blood, there's nothing can function in the life of a man. We talk about the roots, and the root is so quiet. The root are pain is important role in the life of the fruit and showcase the fruit to everybody to see. But the problem is that sometimes we want to marry. Sometimes we want to associate with people because association brings positive or negative. Who you associate with that matter, it matters where you go, where you will not go. What will stop you, what you achieve, or what you will not achieve. I'm about to know somebody here. All matters to us is fruit. The root does not attract but fruit attracts both man and animals. Nobody cares to know what is going on on the root because the root is underground and the fruit is on, on, um, upward. The root is visible and it's intangible. And the root is immaterial. It's intangible, it's immaterial. Now, let's, let, let's go. Just like you come up now, you see a lady. Let me use a man and lady. So beautiful, so arrogant. How good stature is good to look upon. It's good for to choose for generation. To spend all your life with. That is the fruit. You are seeing that is the fruit. You are seeing the fruit. But you don't care to check where is the root coming from. Who is who has packaged this person to the level he is? Because you talk about the component, but you don't talk about the content. Content of a man matters a lot. That is why. If you are a child of God, you want to succeed. You are choosing a career. You are choosing where you go. You are choosing your future. But the problem, you don't pay attention to the root. You don't ask a question, why is it that your fathers, your mothers, people in your, in your generation, no one prospering? Someone have wear red, has certificates, achieve great things in life, but no fruit. 
They stay in Lagos, they stay in Abuja, they stay in abroad. They stay in some places other than by the time back to the village. Because Ruth is, is doing a good job on the ground quietly. Everybody wants to be a fruit. Everyone wants to produce to the whole world. And everybody will praise them, celebrate them. And nobody celebrates the root. So the root is playing a negative part in the fruit. That is why when you meet a man who's supposed to empower you by grace, just like Pastor Chude do, you don't pay attention because it's the root that can change your root. But you don't pay attention. And when you begin to speak forth like a branch, but you don't discover that you already attached to a tree, you are not alone. You begin to move. A tree, a tree can stand here in Barriga. A, a branch can grow to uh, VI. And everybody is celebrating the VI, but nobody celebrates where it's coming from in Barriga. By the time when pride will come, they will cut you as a branch. They will turn you to firewood. You become a firewood. Because already you are not rooted anywhere. No water, no nutrition. <laughs> you will be cut off. Listen to what I'm going to teach you now. They will turn you to firewood. That is why pride comes from people, character comes from people. People already so proud and arrogant because they have a little testimony. But you know, for, you have forgot where you are coming from. That we are standing now is by the grace of a man who wants to change the route. To change the route, you must get through battle. If Satan is holding you, there's no way Satan will ever leave you without a fight. One, there's something that happened in your family, but you don't know. And you will know. If you will marry, if you will succeed, if you have a generation, and your generation will be ever successful, pay attention to this, I will say to you. You must search your root. You must check your root. What are danger things in your root? And let's use Bible. We're going to use Bible to check this. Job 8.8. 8. Let's read something. Fruit is ma 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 tangible and material. But you, you don't see the root, but you see fruit. Can we read it? Praise the Lord, somebody. We're going to use other uh, NLT to, to read it too. He said, let's read this one first. For, for inquire, please, of the former age. Consider things discovered by your fathers. Let's use the NLT. He said, just ask the previous generation. Pay attention to their experience of our ancestors. Pay attention to the experience of the ancestors. What they have experienced before you. Not just wake up in the morning and say, I want to, you know, it's easy to read your biography, you read, to read your, your vision. Make the, uh, you, you read your vision and said, I, I, I want to be a doctor for the next doctor. I want to marry. I want to have a three children. I will build a house. I buy a house. I own a hospital. I will grow. This is a story. They see you in the spirit as a storyteller. <laughs> I will be this. I will be that. No reply. You are speaking within yourself. But nobody is replying you. Only was saying, I want more good set. We will know who be who. <laughs> Everybody, if you look at it, when you are in university, if it's somebody today says, I won't be a pilot, the one says, I won't be a doctor, you will say it is like a music. Some of them end up as a conductor. Some of them end up in the street. Some of them end up as a lion under the bridge. Because already, this is your official statement, is that you are saying something. But you have no power to actualize it. Because the root is waiting for you to come. They will check the, uh, the, the what they call, the, according to the book of the family, the course you're about to read. How many people have read this course? How many people have ever succeeded with this course? And your father went to survey, he made a tent by the golden succeed. I'm not talking. Inquire. Say inquire. inquire. I'm, I'm not talking to somebody. Everybody say inquire. inquire. Now, there are four things you need to pay attention if you have carried this in it. If you want to deal with your roots, there's something. Number one, the place where you are born is very important to you. The place where you marry to is very important in your destiny. Three, the place where you will be living to sustain that destiny is very important to you. And the place where you will be working to fulfill your destiny is important. These are four things that work in the mind. Look at this. If you are not in prison by where you are born, you will be in prison where you are married to. If you don't in prison where you are married to, where you are living, the geographical area where you are living, or territory, or regional area where you are married will be holding you. Or an office can hold you for 8 years, 10 years, 20 years, 
and take over your destiny with enough fulfillment. You see, in, in families, there are many people in the family. Your own family and the other person's family are not together. That is why you should pay attention to your family. Don't pay attention to another man's family. Because on some families, eh, doors, destiny open to them 20, some open 25, some 40, some 50, some when they get to 60 years, some open when they are dead. It's according to the root. That's why I see somebody now. If you see, there's a, a certain place you will go, you see a somebody who is 20 years old. It's not an MD of a bank. MD of so place. I went to Ocean one time. The guy, the lady there who was in VI is 29 years, the MD. She's the MD. And I asked her because her father, father, we're all MDs of so place. So she has a platform. And that's why she has a, a speed in her life. But the problem is that if your father was a native daughter, grand grandfather, native daughter, Forefather and native daughter. Praise the Lord, somebody. Yeah. I'm not talking to somebody. Yes, you need to pay attention to your root. You need to give, um, uh, because if you will ever succeed in such environment, environment where you're born, a place where you are, uh, where you married to, a place where you are living, and a place where you are working. If God wants to call you, first thing God will do to you is to give you knowledge. God needs to give you knowledge before he give you power. Because knowledge of what you, why you came to that family and why you, you came to that family and what God brought you to do. Look at me. You know, sometimes you say you're 40 years, sometimes you're 30 years, sometimes you say you believe 25 years. Spiritually, your age and physical age are not together. Your age spiritually is your assignment. Once you finish your assignment, that's your 90 years. Once assignment given to you on this earth, it's finished. You depart. You depart. That is why some people feel that there's still time. There's no time. What is your birthday? You know, on your birthday, the age of your birthday, the day they gave back to you is very important than other one you are celebrating. Every year you celebrate your birthday, something happened in the realm of the spirit. Number one, the day you are born, it was the day your destiny was open. The day you are born was the day when God had pronounced to you what you are here for. And the day you are born is when the enemy, between you and the enemy, the battle starts. The day when they get back to you is when you, uh, you are, the power and a location where God has given to you to take a location for you. And that's the day the city was closed. Or that's the day the destiny was open. On the date of your birthday. And you see, when you go to the second year, a father that they empower you for the third year. And that day you are celebrating the second year of your life, the Spirit of God will empower you. Your, your body change, your strength change, but the destiny doesn't change. Everything about you, you see, you're growing old in your life, no impact. But the body is changing, your face is changing. Your strength is changing. But the problem is that nothing is apart to it. That is why in Africa, you see somebody who's 40 years, he can reduce the age of 35 because the age is running faster than the progress. They have to slow it down so that people will pity you. <laughs> because there's a place in a family they eat destiny, they eat age. He said, The year the caca worm has eaten. So, what they do in that family is to be eating the age of the family. The year that the caca worm. So, the root, what the root is doing is to be eating your age. Before you close your eye, open it 50 years. Before you close your eyes, open it 60 years. But the problem is that you are growing the age, you are growing status, you are growing in strength, but you are not growing in impact. No fruits. Because the root says nothing will come out of it. Now, the thing you need to do to fight your root, you need information. Information is the currency of, of life activities. To win a battle of life, you need information to function in life activities. For you to succeed in destiny, in your God-given purpose, you need information. Anywhere you are going in life, you need information. And information you have, it gives you an advantage over others. But you have already packaged yourself, compiled yourself, you are going somewhere. But you don't check what is in your back. On what route are you standing? What route is giving you water and nutrition? Is it bad one or the good one? You are not aware. You are just seeing where you are going, but you don't see where you are coming from. Are you ready to hear me now? Just like Nigerian man now, every Nigerian child now. He's not walking by brain anymore. 
The roots have already taken away our brain. We are not using our eyes to see. That's why if one run, other people start running. I was coming from Lekki to Sulere on Saturday, on Sunday. I finished service on Lekki. I'm, I'm trying to navigate to Sulere. And uh, one of my uh, oddly, we were going together. And uh, we saw people. A man missed his way. And he was turning and trying to follow one way. Everybody stopped and started following him to follow one way. And I told myself, so, 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 so. Please, don't follow them. Don't follow them. These people are just confused. Because they, you, you're with me now. I says, because this place, where they are now, this place where they are, they found out that somebody is turning and navigating the wrong side. Everybody followed. Because they, are, they have seen the person, but their brain will not calculate to them something is wrong somewhere. Because the road is open. That's why I say, when you talk about Jabba, everybody wants to Jabba, everybody wants to Jabba. You form one trouble and enter bigger trouble. Because your destiny, that's a place that God gives to that destiny. If you move a place from where God sends you, you cannot function again. Oh, yes. You will wither. You wither. Everyone says the person will wither. In your family, there are certain negative patterns between you and your ancestors. There is a satanic record doc documented in the dark world in your family. The day they get back to you, somebody that has, has zoomed, the spirit that has zoomed into your life for you to function to the system of that person, they are where? Your name, the name given to you, the meaning of your name, they are where? If somebody that died and returned back to life, uh, they are where? That, that name, even your son, they are where? You don't even know your son, they are where? They are, no, are aware where you, why you enter this earth. We are aware that you come to scatter and destroy their pattern, their plans. Because the Bible says in Genesis 3, verse 15, it says the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. Question you want to ask, who is that seed? The seed doesn't have information. But the seed wants to bear fruit. But it doesn't know that's a record playing in her life. That's why it's, I inquire to know what is already the guy to stand so that able to function. But what will just come up and say, I want to be an engineer, I want to be a doctor, I want to be this, I want to be that. But the problem is that you're not aware why you are here. They are aware. Now, are you, are you with me? Yes, sir. They are aware of what your father struggled with. Your gigant father, what they struggle with. Their weakness. Even the weakness they appear to you, you accept it with good heart. But you don't know that that weakness has killed many people in your family. <laughs> Anytime you find out negative patterns that categorize, that stands and live in the bloodline and boost on the life of people, you need to stand. It shows that the same records or, or database is still active in your life. Just you see a, a young man love women. You are not the first person. <laughs> he has killed many people in your family. Once he's showing up, he's showing up finding that this is about to die. <laughs> Any offer that Satan offers you, support to ask Satan. What will I fulfill to get this offer? What will I fulfill? Because everything in life is a change. What will you exchange for this? But you receive it with good heart. We talk to sometimes your friend. In the spiritual world, business is business. God will ask you, what can I what can you offer me and what I will offer you? That's what they call covenant. Satan too to offer you that something will take for you. Anytime we see temptation coming to you, me say something that you are seeing is bigger than something that is coming. Once you have embraced what is coming, you fulfill the one that is coming. Because you can have the two together. If English people say you cannot have your cake and eat it. Nigeria say you cannot eat your cake and have it. <laughs> so you fulfill it. There's a database, there's a record playing your family. That is why if you finish school, they offer you marriage. After marriage, they offer you children. After children, they offer you to have a mini job. Already, you don't end up like your father. I see a lot of children in the, in the church. I train them, I train a medical doctor, I train a law, lawyer, so that I'll have success in my future. But I found out that I was trying to train them. When they just finished university, they found, the parents, who, what we were talking about, is, there, is there anybody coming for marriage? And I said, no, this is not marriage. You was supposed to talk about performance. It was also launch out before I talk about money. No, 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 no. They don't care about it. People don't care about that. What they care about that? Is anybody coming? Because that's the pattern. 
And once you marry, have children, the Lord will choose them, this destiny is gone. What next? <laughs> now, now, listen to this. Listen to it. I want to ask somebody a question. And if you ask me this question, I just see somebody stand up and give me, answer me this question. Like, man or a woman, let me use husband and the wife. Who set I looking for most in most of them? Stand up and tell me. The lady or the man? Tell me. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't need no, no. Just one person stand. Stand up and tell me. I will say yes or no. Tell me. Who is Satan looking for more? Okay. You? I believe it's the man. Uh, it's the man? Yes. No, I won't answer you. I won't answer. I know you need three people. You, also. Woman. You? I believe the boat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm finished. I, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Please, I told you to come. Come, told you to come. Two of you come. Face them. This is a husband and wife. Who is Satan? Now, just, uh, just this example, example, I'm using example. S look at me, look at me. Oh, no, look, uh, face them. I said, who do you think Satan is looking for more these two? Now, do you know why he's looking for the woman? Do you know? Look at me, look at me. In the spiritual world, it's just what they call it, knowledge. It's a revelation. Just God revelation, knowledge about what you look for. Praise the Lord somebody. Now look at this. This man seek for this woman. He give her her body. She takes. He give her water. She takes. He give her food. She takes. This one is in charge. You know, man says, I'm the head of the family. But since I found out that the woman is the head. Children belong to the woman. What this man work for belong to this woman. Who, who, who go for hunting? Now this man. Who is a bakery? Now the woman. So whatever the woman says, whatever he says to the children, that's how children will concur. Because the children are not seeing this man. Now, why, how do you think that Satan will be not wasting his time looking for somebody who is already a slave to somebody? So what, he, what will he do? He had to go through the woman, and whatever he said to the woman, the woman will tell the man. Shout out to the other Sit down, sit down, please. How, how, why should Satan be troubling himself? A man will go to down, lie down, and give the destiny to the woman. He wants to make love. He lie down, the destiny brought to the earth that God says, and you, you are the head of the family. He lie down and say, take over what I brought to the earth, collect it. He will lay down and prostrate and give it out. So who Satan is angry with is the woman that will carry the pregnancy. Is the one that will nurture the seed that will kill Satan. So Satan is looking for the woman. It's not looking for the man. Because the man, one, what happened to the man? One, manipulation, control, and intimidation. That's what man going through. Now, government is supporting the woman. Friends are supporting the woman. Families are supporting the woman. When a man leave his slavery, slavery job, and walk away, they have to call you to attention. Go back to house and continue your slavery. <laughs> so society is against you when you abandon your job. He said, inquire. Our father has sinned, but they are not. But we bear the sins of our fathers. What is the sin of our father? We don't know. Praise the Lord, somebody. There's something I want to show you now. I want to show you. Now, that's a pattern. That's a root. There's a negativity in the family. Now, there's a seed that God will send to that family who will bruise the head of serpent. Now, see what will happen. Obedia 121 says, saviors will come for families. Somebody who will be a savior is coming from the family. If you are carrying authority of your foundation or heritage, serpent is searching for you. They are aware that a child will come. Many years to come, they'll come. It may come from Lagos, it may come from America, it may come from there. The light shows that a child is coming. So the satellite is looking for that child that will bruise the head of serpents. You are imagining with anointing to help others. Serpent is orchestrated your problem in your foundation. In Acts 7, 20, 25, Moses was called, but Moses spent 40 years in Egypt without even, start as, without even assignment. He was just a traditional ruler. But the calling of God was not there. If you look at Caleb, Caleb will say something in number 13. He said, I was 40 years when I received that vision. But now I was 80. So the foundation ate 80 years. In time of Moses, they, they took 40 years before the calling of Moses. 
So the route in Egypt took 40 years. That's why he found out that if you come to Nigeria today, many pastors are going online. I am a theologian. I know Bible more than that. But people are dying. Economy is changing. But even with what you know, people are dying. People are dying. Dollars are increasing every day. And God says in Ezekiel 22 for 30, I saw for a man. Who is that man? Is he a man that will read Bible to the world? Or a man that will come with power? Because the glory of God comes in life. There must be a part of God you manifest. Holy Spirit cannot come to the life of a man. Because Holy Spirit is like a wind. You cannot hold him. But when he comes and touch a man, you will know that there is a man in a particular place. So that man, Satan, if you know you have four children, you have five children, Satan is not looking for five children. But the problem is that they are not aware that particular child they are looking for that family. So what is Satan orchestrating now? Divorce that marriage. Let that child live in the, what they call, in the deformed area so that they will repackage his brain. Through deformity, he can raise those who have deformed. Satan will constrate that the father will never have peace. Many families are carrying a child they don't know. That's the orchestrated problem today. Many families are going through many things. They don't know that that child, when they get back to their family, has something to tell the future. They say, search them. But if you cannot find a kill anybody, if you go to uh, what they call Exodus 122, you find that they were killing all the children because they're looking for Moses. If you go to Matthew 2, for 1 to 16, you hear about it. They were killing all the whole children because they're looking for Jesus. Because that is the seed that will put the head of serpent. That seed is in Bariga. You don't choose to fight before you start fight. They are about to go in already in your life. Serpent is in your bloodline. He wants to knock you out of the system because you will not be in the system. A system your suffocate will not work. A system your brain will not work. A system your hands will be deformed. A system that you will know. The whole world will doubt, doubt you that when you say you're a destiny child. They will bring you to a certain level that you will have no voice. You see, Pastor Chidadu is already training you to become. They are where? They are where? A vessel could not find your feet, but he's trying to put you through. Excellent job. To make you an excellent child. To make you to discover your path in life. To discover and carry power so that when, any, when there's an opening, you can be able to fit in. What will be the outcome of your career? If you're a businessman, what will be the outcome? If you don't put a fight, fight is going on. And what the fight is all about, that you will not have a fruit. And the people that are fighting you is the root. They have no fruit. And they are not fighting for fruit. They just anchor for you to anchor on them. That you will not go far. I will allow you to go, but you will not go far. That is why you must open your eyes for information to search. Ezra 4, 5, 15. Can we see that, please? We have to search. It says that search may, may be made in the book of the records of their fathers. So, that, uh, so what? So that find in the book of the records knowing that the city is a rebellious city. Your family is a rebellious family. Such. Have you not found out that if you go to your family, if you go to your family, you find out that many people are dying in your family. Many people are dying in your family. You don't care. Many people are going down. Have you not seen that the elder brother of the family is going down? The, uh, the first child of the family is the glory of the family. And God said the firstborn is mine. But the glory will be taken. The second born now is very strong and very happy. But you never knew that in time never reach. They will deal with the father, deal with the second son. But they will left the second son. But you don't know that the foundation does not support it. That's a captivity, that's a bondage, that's a pattern in a family. And what we have to do today, to pray today now, is that what is in your root? Because everybody has seen the fruit. That's why many people are following the dark world. They have tried all their best. They found out that the age is growing to 55 years, 60 years. They decide to enter the back world. Many people will run a church today. Today, you, after training, they will off and that group will enter. It says, Shall we, you say you want to fight us. Let's see. This is our children. You are training our children. And let's see what will become of it. Open your eyes. Tell your neighbor, say, open your eyes to know what is happening in your family. Now, listen to me. You know, when you want to marry a lady, marry to a lady, 
you you see let me use a little you see the beautiful everything she has career she has a good job they just present her to you you zoom in because you feel that your future is secured by her job but you don't know it's a trap now look at this if your family is from witchcraft anybody that appears to you is coming from the witchcraft if your family is from the snake world everybody is coming from the snake world that is why today most of the churches who are genuine pastors are struggling on the valid most of the pastors you are seeing today have joined the other world within six months they are zoomed to 10,000, 20,000 and the reason why they are fighting the church you have to surrender because my children are already surrender you already but I pray today that God will deliver us the root does not attract bold man the root does not attract but by the fruit attract but I pray today that God will deliver somebody here today Amen. shout a big hallelujah somebody here. the problem now is that where do you live where they give birth to you where do you choose your relationship or your marriage determine your attitude you carry destiny you know you know sometimes you see look at look at this is a pastor seat this is wife seat if a pastor is genuine I'm talking about pastor. I'm not talking about pastor. I'm giving an example to you. A pastor is genuine. The seat of vice president is needed by Satan. That is why I found out a, a wife of a general of nobody laying her. She grows in rank from the seat. One day you hear uh, <laughs> one one day you hear you hear one day you hear daddy. Small time the daddy will start coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. You start hearing mommy. Because there's a battle between the president and the vice president. How many pastors will come here and lay hands on Jehovah's Witness? No. That is why some of you now are married to a man or a woman that will use you to grow in rank. You ask a lady. They ask you. You saw a lady. You ask a lady. You gave her a car. You gave her money. You, you have done all you could to make sure she's happy. But she's not happy. Now, that's your assignment as a child of God, to give to her, take care of her, do all the necessity for her to be happy. Is that? But they ask you, that's your assignment. But you never ask the lady, what is her assignment? Your, your assignment is to give her car, give her money, give her everything, but her assignment is to cut your head. <laughs> Whatever you are giving in the realm of spirit is not counted. Let me show you this. In the realm of the spirit, souls is more lucrative. They use souls to buy money from the spirit. But in the physical, they use soul. Money, they use money to buy souls. So they find out that a pastor, if he got more souls, he got the money. But he don't need the money. He don't need the souls. He need the money. That is why he can sell souls to get the money. If I put myself into a certain world, every member of the church is already mortgaged. And what they do is that if in the Barriga we have 20 churches now and they captured 15, they are in charge. Whatever any activity that happened in Bar uh, Bariga, they have the voice. We don't have the voice. That is why in the government, they have the voice. We don't have the voice. No matter how you pray, you don't have the voice. Until power is handed over to you. So anytime you are in bondage, anytime you are standing in a place, quoting Bible doesn't matter. What matters is the quoting uh, power. The power you will have determines the freedom in your life. For you to manifest, to ask what killed your father, sword must hand over to you. If you swore this not hand over to you, ask what kill your father, what kill your father will kill you. That is why when you want to marry, you go and inquire first. Because you are going there as a son in law. So by law, they are purchased you by law. When you pay a bride price, you already exchange. She's daughter in law, you are now a son in law. So question I ask, you know, ask yes, the lady you want to marry, what happened to their brothers? The brother one, the one is a drunkard. The other one is a vagabond. The other one is a uh, throw pusher. That's how you're going to be. You already signed your death warrant already. You entered that family because already you saw the fruit, but you don't ask of the root. So it's an insult for you not to ask who the root of this way. You are talking about the fruit. My brother, you will be very silent, silent until you enter grief. 
that is what happened to big men of God. I want to let you know, 90% of many pastors are married bad wives. And that is why. A person that is in bondage will not know his bondage. People that are watching that side will know that this person is in bondage. Because when you are in bondage, you will not know you are in bondage. You will be celebrating your freedom, but you don't know already, you are already in bondage. How do you put everything? You go to school, you have a master's degree, you have everything in life, but yet you are not performing. For you to know what is going on in your life, the root is looking for you. The father that the great grandfather was a little daughter. The third father was a little daughter. Fourth father was a little daughter. Now he will now become, he want to become a doctor. <laughs> you know, love in the spirit is hatred. The kingdom of God is where he says, I wish that both of them should be one. So God's kingdom is that you'll be one here, you'll be one in the spirit. But the satanic kingdom is that you'll be an enemy here, but you'll be one there. That's why I see some people quarreling, fighting. You thought maybe they are enemy. They are not enemy, they are together. That's how the kingdom is so concentrated. Fighting, quarreling in your presence does not mean they are, they are not together, they are together, but they deceive you. Because Satan loves those who they deceive people. You see, that's why I'm trying to find information. Because if you find information, either you stay in the family or you move out of the family. There's a fight that you cannot fight. It's a prayer. If you are receiving this training in this church, pay attention to your family because they're going to be a spoiler to you. Most of you are married now. They, you know, they package marriage for you. They give you marriage. They give man, that marriage, they give it to you so that you struggle for the rest of your life. You know, why they give you marriage? Tomorrow I'm going to talk about the law or the family more change. Because already that's a law. If you move out of the law, you fight. You know, law is there. God's law is there. But the law of God, you give us grace to fulfill it. Because it can give you law without giving power. The law will destroy you. Because nobody by flesh can fulfill law. Yes, but the family law says nobody will send to more than this. That is why the evolution must start from somewhere. Yes, sir. You must, there must be a holy riot. Yes, sir. How can you live a pattern? Your father married, your mother married, sister married. They end up the same place. You came in and marry. A poor man married a poor man. Where they will have, what that child will born, Papa? They start burning poor, 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 poor. If you enter a pit, who will deliver you from that pit? Who will deliver such a person? There's a voice crying in the wilderness. There's now your own voice is crying in Bariga. Who will shall deliver your family? But after today, you shall raise and here I am, O oh God. I must be the one who will change these statues. I will change this foundation. Root cannot be in the underground without being seen. Manipulating the fruit. And everybody wants to have the fruit. He said, if the fruit is bad, the branch is too is bad. The law is bad too. If it's bad, it's bad. Whatever that is bad is bad. I want to go to somebody. Yes, whatever bad is bad. Sound of it. Sound of it. <laughs> you see, you see, let's see, let's see. Where are you living? Where are you living? Where is your house? Where is your address? Where is your location? They are already confounded in a place. The root. The fruit is bad. The root is bad. Pattern of bloodline. Records in the family playing. Database. Anytime they hear prophecy, Satan is not only present. Satan cannot be here and be in your house at the same time. It is only God. Every other person in this world, in the spirit world, need information. They are praised by prophecy. Anytime I prophesy to you, that's the man of God. They want to hear the man of God and use it against you. That's why they will delay you for not to prosper. The root. There's a certain pattern of marriage in your family. You are still falling into it. There's a certain pattern of career in your family. You are still falling into it. There's a certain location. That's why you see sometimes you see a building. All the Igbos are living there. All they will discuss is how to go for better ceremony. After we go to a village, 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 because already they will plant somebody who will remember where you're coming from. Who will change it? Tell somebody who will change it. We need a changer. Destiny changer. Everybody said destiny changer. Destiny changer. Are you ready to pray? When you break out from a relationship, break out from marriage, and let her go back there, you sentence yourself to death. Bible says, fight a good fight of it. Tell somebody, say, fight a good fight. Tell somebody, say, that's a wrong fight, that's a good fight. If you fight, I end up like a father, it's a wrong fight. If you fight, if you fight to be greater than your parents, it becomes a good fight. 